Hello Chimpanzee Volunteers! Welcome to another tutorial to help you participate in the Zooniverse Chimpanzee Project. This video is part of a series of videos to teach you how to use the tools and resources available during chimp matching. When a new research site is opened up, moderators create lists of all chimps that are found at that site. These lists will continue to grow as new chimps are spotted in the videos. The lists are referred to as the site's known prospective lists and can be found on every site's Chimp IDs talk board. Look for pinned discussions containing the word known or known perspective or even a Read Me First thread. The known perspective lists are probably the most valuable tools you'll use in your chimp matching efforts. This video explains how to use these lists. A site's moderators may use different tools or platforms to house the known perspective lists, such as Google Docs or Google Slides. Regardless of what tool was used to create them, a site's known perspective lists contain all essential information known about chimps in the site. There are always three separate documents that house these lists, one for females and infants, one for males, and one for juveniles and chimps whose sex is unclear. Let's have a look at what one of these lists looks like. The number or name of a chimp is listed above several photos to show as much information as possible about how the chimp looks. These photos are taken directly from the video. The photos try to show you what the chimp looks like from several views. You'll usually see a view of a chimp's head and face, with close-ups of any special trait, if there is one, such as a cut in an ear. You'll often see a view of its rear, too. Sometimes, if a chimp is far away or isn't posing well for the camera, the photos may not provide a lot of information, making it difficult to match the chimp. Under the photos, the moderators list all of the known body and facial traits for the chimp, such as its balding pattern, brow and muzzle shapes, beard, ears, and body build. In addition, you'll find a link to each video clip that was used to create the photos. Moderators regularly update photos, descriptions, and video links as new information is discovered, so it's important to check these lists carefully when you're trying to make a match. Several chimpanzee research sites provide additional tools that volunteers have created and maintain to help other volunteers match chimps. These tools provide a quick, at-a-glance way to view chimps in a site. In a site's Chimp IDs talk board, look for discussions containing the word poster, or search discussions for mug shots. This poster contains what are commonly referred to as headshots or mugshots. Some posters contain photos of the entire body of each chimp in the site, like this one. The value of these tools is that you can quickly identify a chimp and its name. When trying to match chimps, these posters are often the first tool a volunteer will use because there's so much information available at a single glance. As you try to match a chimp to another chimp, you'll use the known perspective lists and posters a lot. They are a critical companion tool to the videos made of a site's chimps. Initially, you'll probably need to scroll through the list to try to spot chimps that bear some resemblance 
to the chimp you're trying to match. Once you've developed a short list of candidates, you'll probably go back and forth between the photos for the two chimps, looking at bodies and faces to try to identify any distinguishing traits. Check out some of the other video tutorials where you can learn how to use the Chimpanzee spreadsheets to find even more information about a chimp. You can even learn how to make your own resource tools to house the information you collect on chimpanzees. You can find a link to these videos in the video tutorials resource list.